Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to draw a science beaker. So, to start off, I'm going to begin at the top of my paper, and I'm going to make the very top of the beaker. So to draw the top of it, I'm just going to make a small oval right at the top of my paper. Then what I'm going to do is I want to make another oval around it, but it's going to have an opening at the bottom. So starting right here, I'm just going to make another oval all the way around it, just like that. Next, I want to draw the top part of the beaker. So instead of going straight down, I want this to be kind of stylized, and I want it to kind of come in at an angle. So starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down like this. Then starting on this side, I'm going to do the same thing and draw it in just a little bit. So I'm going to draw it in and then stop right about there with my other one. Next, I want to draw the base of the beaker. So starting right here, I'm going to curve out and I'm going to make a really wide line like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now at the bottom, I'm going to curve around and make almost like a big smiley face. I don't want the corners to be pointy, I want them to be round. So starting right here, I'm going to round this off, make my big curve, and then come back here and line it up right there. So I want this beaker to be kind of cartoony. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a face onto this first. So to add the face, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an oval right here. And I want it to be at an angle just a little bit like that. Then right here, I'm going to make a smaller circle. So right next to this oval, I'm going to make a smaller circle and make sure that both of these shapes are touching. Then I want to give my beaker a mouth. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go up and then around and then kind of come back up like this. Then I'm going to make pretty close to the same shape just at the bottom and going the opposite direction. Now I want to draw a straight line across the inside of my mouth. And then I'm going to make a few lines coming down for some teeth. Then I will give my beaker a little chin. And then I'm going to make a few little extra lines over here, just to show a little bit of dimension. Then right in here, I'm going to make a sad face to make it look like part of the eyelid is open. And I'm going to make a small circle right there. And then on this one, I'm going to draw a circle inside of here. And then I'm going to put a smaller circle inside like that. Now underneath this, I'm going to make a little sad face. And then I want to draw some lines underneath the eyes. So I'm going to make a curved line that goes right into this eye. And then a curved line that goes right into this eye. Then I want to give it some eyebrows. So I'm going to make a line like this. And then starting right here, I'm going to make another line that goes up. Then connect them and color them in. Same thing on this side. I'll make this eyebrow a little bit longer, make a little curved line. Make another one. Connect it. And then color it in. Now, I want it to look like the liquid that is inside of it 
is, you know, kind of moving around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here on my beaker, and I'm going to draw the shape all the way around my beaker. If it runs into some of your other lines, that is totally okay. Just leave a little bit of space between your line and the beaker. Just like that. Now when I get up here, I want to make kind of like a squiggly line like this. And then I'm just going to draw another line like this, make it look like the liquid is moving inside. Now, I'm going to draw a few circles inside here to make it look like our chemicals that were inside here were mixing and having a uh, crazy reaction. I'm going to draw a few lines on these bubbles. And then I want to put a few more bubbles out here. Put some little curved lines on there. You can make some more bubbles. Make as many as you want. Have it go as crazy as you want with them. You can put bubbles behind each other. Then I want to make a little bit of liquid on the ground, like some stuff spilled out. So starting right here, I'm just going to make a wavy, curvy line like that. And then I will make another small, wavy line like this. Then I'm just going to add a few extra little lines right here. Just like that. And finally, on the edge of my beaker, I'm going to make a few curved lines that get a little bit smaller as they go out. And this will just kind of make it look like the beaker is moving a little bit. I'll throw some more up here. Makes it look like it's moving, starting to, you know, shake like it's going to explode. We know how those science teachers don't always know what they're doing with their chemicals. So, there you go. There is your cartoon beaker. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for, wa thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.